comes to putting these fires out, what is DNR's plan exactly? Today I spoke with the state commissioner of lands, Hillary Franz. She says one of the most difficult obstacles for DNR is where wildfires are located in these steep and rugged terrain. Then you mix wind in there and it makes it really hard for firefighters and helicopters to operate. But some of these fires have been burning, as we mentioned, for weeks and now going into months. For example, Bolt Creek fire started on September 10th and some of the strategy includes letting the fires burn itself out. And in a tweet recently, Fran said, should conditions become, quote, more favorable, that they were essentially ready to engage. I questioned her about that and whether or not DNR strategy needs to change here. Could they have done a better job to lessen the smoke a bit? Take a listen. What favorable elements are you looking for? Because yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, it's tough out there and that's not going to change. So should your strategy change to fit the situation? So our strategy is always changing. I think this is the key part where you are trusting incident command leaders who've been doing this work for 30, 40 years, where they know how do they make sure they're protecting the public, but also how do they make sure we are absolutely putting our firefighter safety is number one. I will not go and do anything that risks their lives. They are absolutely putting their lives on the line for us, and we have to take all necessary precautions to make sure they are not injured. That's why we have such a great safety record of firefighters. Despite the crazy amount of smoke we are dealing with, Fran still says the season is a success when you take into consideration the number of acres that have burned this season compared to previous years. We had 140,000 acres burned so far compared to the previous average of 400,000 acres. Fran says in the end, rain will be the key factor that knocks out the fires and in turn returns our air quality to normal.